Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week 16 Project Life and today I'm working with sort of something a little bit different. I put together this scrapbooking kit uh, from some of the supplies in my stash and I decided I would use that for this week's Project Life spread. But what I wanted to add to that kit um, was just a few cards, a few of the older Project Life cards from my stash as well. So that's what you can see me doing here. I just sort of spread my kit out on my desk and then started going through my cards and I'm just pulling out random ones that go with sort of the colors and patterns that I have already picked out in that scrapbooking kit. Now I'm starting with my four by six cards and then I'm gonna go through my sort of they're more the general 3x4 cards, so none of them are actually sort of specific to any subject. If I need to add more cards in, then I will. Otherwise, I'll just work with the cards that I've managed to pick out here. But ultimately, my goal with this kit is not necessarily to kill it or use up every single last thing that I've pulled out. It was literally just to give me a base of something to work with in the first place. I don't have um, any sort of design team kits to work with this month. My Citrus Twist uh, disappeared in the international mail. Uh, and so this just limits my choices from an entire stash down to a much smaller collection, uh, which means that I can minimize some of those overthinking sort of issues that I have. So you can see I've started with my photos. I've got one enlargement there. We, um, we ventured into town to a very, very empty town um, and I managed to get a photo of our main street, which is normally bustling and full of cars and buses and people and it was completely empty. So I decided that was definitely worthy enough of an enlargement. So I'm gonna pop that in that sort of top right hand space up there. And the rest of my spread is going to be pretty simple. So I'm just going through and picking out some cards. I only needed two 4x6 ones, one for my title card and one for my Zoom photo down there, which miraculously fit perfectly into this uh, 4x6 card, which I think is an old one from a Feed Your Craft in, in the Creative Bubble. And at the top, I've just used another pattern card because I trimmed down one of the 12 by 12 papers that I had picked out so that I could use the April portion for my title card. The title card basically um, using that April piece it had the kind of red and the pink on the bottom of it I didn't want to change that so that's kind of become the basis for my color scheme this week just keeping some of those warm tones. My photos are pretty pretty on the neutral side there's only the one black and white one up there but nothing else is particularly standing out as really colorful maybe my pumpkin soup there which is a little bit sort of warm toned and orange anyway so it, it all works really nicely I decided instead of having just the full black and white card down the bottom here that I would add a little bit more color into it by just trimming off the border and then I can stick that down onto one of the more patterned cards. It keeps it a little bit simpler but again adds that color into the bottom there. Now like I said my Zoom screenshot fit perfectly into that gap. Um, it was just that this little piece here um, it didn't really go with what the story was and I'll be honest I can't remember um, I can't remember what it says it was, it was something about a place or a home I think uh, which wasn't really what my story was about so I needed some way to cover it up uh, and in the kit that I have picked out here are these pink fresh studio stickers uh, one of which is this little yellow circle label which fit absolutely perfectly to cover up that sentiment that didn't work the label obviously itself is a little bit plain and I sort of messed around with maybe adding some embellishments and stickers or maybe stamping a new sentiment on there. These stamp sets I've pulled out uh, from uh, Citrus Twist and Kelly stamps. They're all very old. Um, I just, like I said, dug into my stash, but I didn't want to add too much to this card because it already has sort of a title at the top of it and I do want to put in um, some alphas on here which I'm going to use again these pink fresh studio ones these little tiny puffy stickers I thought they worked really nicely so I'm going to use those instead of stamping anything the alpha stamps that I had pulled out were much too large for this sort of thing. 
The only issue that I had was that my title was going to need to run over two lines and I didn't quite have enough room to fit that underneath the sort of printed portion on the card. This little line with a dot on it and my second line of my title here is going to have to sort of cover that up. Um, and I was hoping that it would fit nicely in between the letters but as I arranged them on there it just wasn't the case and it sort of sort of covers up half the dot and it's the kind of thing that would um, normally really kind of annoy me but I decided just to accept it and move on because otherwise I know I would spend far too long trying to find another alternative when this all works perfectly fine just as it is. Now I take a tiny little break to answer the door for the courier and then I come back and carry on with the rest of my spread. Uh, this photo here is of Shane eating his uh, lockdown birthday meal which despite being locked down was actually lovely. When I use an Instax photo like this um, I normally adhere it with my double sided adhesive anyway but I have had uh, Instax photos with adhesive like that come off in the past and so I do know that I want to secure it um, with at least a staple or a paper clip or some other way that's a little bit more permanent than just the adhesive. There wasn't a whole lot of space on that photo or that card so I decided to keep it really simple. Just add a little 42 for his age there and I think that's a perfectly suitable way to celebrate his birthday in a project life spread. Now I decided to move on to my title card and this was sort of what I had pictured when I picked out these two things that I would line up the lines so the pattern line at the bottom of the April card and that clear space line at the bottom of my three uh, four by six sorry um, and it just meant I had to trim off a tiny little piece of the top of the April card and then I can just add a title and I'm going to use those same alphas again that I used on Shane's birthday card just to add on the week 16 and I'm lining that up just on the um, division there to keep everything sort of really gritty looking and then instead of adding my date stamps like I normally would I'm just going to circle the dates on the card um, it's sort of one of those perpetual calendar things so there's no uh, days of the week uh, labeled on there which means I can just circle the seven days that this week covers I didn't like however the fact that those two lots of alphas that are the same were one on top of the other so I'm just going to swap these uh, three by four cards uh, just, just to stop that happening. This is just a photo of me having a little bit of arty time um, after following I Am Absolutely Alice's background tutorial. It was a lovely way to spend a Sunday afternoon so I definitely wanted to document that especially since it was uh, in, the, in the sun, the last of our sort of late autumn sun. It's very special and I spend as much time in it as I can. Um, I just I stuck down the photo and added that sticker before I really kind of knew what I was doing with it and I want to add I still want to add that sticker but I wanted to add one of the stamps from the stamp set onto the actual pink portion of that journaling card and so I had just had to move my photo up just a smidgen to make that fit. It did rip the card but I was gluing it back down in the exact same place so it covers up all of that rippiness and I can add my little stamp in there and then replace the sticker and it all all fits nicely um, and in fact it was just a lucky accident that that stamp fit into that pink portion of the card perfectly. Now when I do enlargements like this I just print them as two 4 by 6 photos which means I need to just trim the middle out of the bottom photo there so that it can fit in my 3 by 4 pockets. I wasn't really entirely sure on what I wanted to say about this photo um, other than the fact that it was a bizarre feeling seeing something that is usually so busy so quiet. So that's what I decided to stamp on here. I'm just going to stamp the word quiet this is one of my favorite alphas it's no longer available from Kelly stamps and I'm gonna stamp that with the brilliance moonlight white ink which I love for stamping directly on photos um, it works perfectly on this I know I say it all the time but the photo paper that I use is the Canon photo 2 glossy paper um, and it's designed for ink I print at home on an inkjet printer so it's designed to absorb ink which makes it perfect for stamping as well 
I decided to add my journaling by hand today, although when I say I decided it, I had no real choice uh, because I wanted my journaling in white to match the white ink of the stamping. I can't type right in white, so instead I'm using a jelly roll pen and just a line guide that I created with my Patreons. Um, and I'm just handwriting my journaling as neatly as I possibly can. And I really, I really like how that sort of gives it just a just a little blocky look down the bottom but leaves the photo to breathe for itself. Now I've got one photo left and I decided that that worked out so nicely up there. I'm going to repeat the same thing down here so I'm going to stamp again another title and then use that same line guide um, to do my journaling inside my bowl of soup uh, except this time I am going to use a black pen instead of white. And then that is it for this spread. I'm always shocked at how much I love these like stash kit spreads. It's fun pulling out all of these old favorites again and just really enjoying using things that I put away because they were too good to use the first time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen or why not check out my Patreon page, there are even more videos over there. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.